You are a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice, and today we're going to be speaking about my prophecy, a special one. I've been dreaming about this for a long time. It's called the double printer prophecy. The double printer scenario. Why double printer? Well, we all know the money printer. And I always thought about what would be the one Achilles heel, which is your weak point. What is a weak point? of the entire financial market system. Because we're all looking forward to the money printer now because they've done it a number of times. They've done since 2010, friends. They've done QE1, then two, then three. They had Operation Twist, which is another QE where they manipulate the yield curve as well. Ben Bernanke did that, okay? Head of the bug eaters over at the US Federal Reserve. He's a massive bug eater himself. He's literally just a walking bug. And then you have QE Infinite, so all these rounds of inflation, money supply in going up, and they were able to hide the currency units. Also, we had a big deflationary bust with the GFC. Then we move forward and we think, wait a minute, what's after QE infinite? There's only one step next. They keep, they kept going up and up and up. I mean, you've already done QE infinite, so there has to be one step next, friend. So what would be the final step? They have to just buy the stocks themselves. They already do this in Japan, by the way. So that would be my prophecy. Now, the prophecy is actually QE fails the first time, so they need to step it up in a big way to rescue markets. I'm going to play some gentle angel music here because I don't want you to get scared, friends. There's nothing to be scared about. It's a simulation. It's a game. You're just a little World of Warcraft adventure character walking around. you got to do some tide quests, buy some potions. Okay, go to the blacksmith, repair your armor. Ching, ching, ching. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. So am I. For a long time, though, I've had these visions. I've just... Let me tell you something, friends. Let me tell you something. Whenever I think about the way we all get trucked, it happens. I've got a cousin out here. Shout out to Richie. I don't even know if he remembers this. You know, in 2021, friends, 2020 to 2021, let's go back to the crypto bull market. I'm going to take you back to this period of time. Okay, now... Richie, I still remember him. I, I don't even know if he remembers. Friends, it was around this part here. He was just getting started, okay? But, you know, they'll ask me, hey, what's Doge? What's this? What's that? Okay. And I still remember he said to me, he goes, Habib, he goes, you know, when we went up, friends. I remember we went up. I think we stopped, came back down. Remember the China ban? He said to me, what if Bitcoin goes back towards the high, breaks a little bit, but then crashes. He, uh, he actually said that to me, all right? He does not have multiple cycle experience. He's not like watching everything 24 seven. And I'll never forget that, all right? And I, he basically, I remember when he asked me, so firstly, he asked me about a devastating scenario here, but it was a different word. And then when we came here, he asked me about it up here and it actually happened. I remember saying, I said, God help us all. That's actually what happened. I, I remember that now. I remember that. I'm like, man, he actually asked me about that. Wow. And I just, I wish I was just thinking about, wow. Because friends, that was the only, that was the weak point of everybody in crypto. Because everyone in crypto was looking for the parabolic rise. They were looking for something that happened in the past. Let's go back here. They were looking for something like this. They were looking for, you know, 100K, 180K Bitcoin crash. All right. They were also look at this one as well. They were looking for parabolic moonshot. Woohoo! Crash. Okay, it's over. That's what they're looking for. And so I knew I go well. If everyone's looking for a parabolic rise, what's the weak point then? That was the weak point. So my conceptualizing of it is, I think that the U.S. Fed will turn on the money printer next time, but it won't work the whole way. I think they will print money. And then everyone will go risk on. Because you can imagine right now. I mean, you already lived through the zombie virus. You know, uh, you, you were here, friends, zombie virus. How did we recover off a big giant market crash? Okay, infinite QE. Woo! That's how we recovered. All right. What if there's a crash? You can actually draw it on the stock market, friends, if you want, if you want to look at it. Now, we don't know where it's going to crash from. That's the million-dollar question. You don't know where it's going to crash from. So we're not being doomers or anything. We're still long, but I'm telling you, just be careful. 
Don't use these signs to automatically just do your full-on leverage. Okay, it's not your excuse. Oh, okay, now I've got to do leverage. Just be careful, all right? So it could be possible, right, that we do something where it rolls over. Now, I don't know when, right? If we roll over and then they go, hey, we got to do the QE again. Woohoo! But then something else comes on later. Bang, bang, the QE's not working. The QE's not working. And they're like, that's it. We got to do something. See, that would be the big level collapse. By the way, is this even going to happen? That's a, yeah, that's a 40% drop. Stock market could do that. So you're wondering, how do they rescue themselves out of that? Well, friends, remember the US debt financial system. It's a fiat Ponzi. Just my, just my speculation. How could they rescue themselves from this area? I'm just thinking, by the way, it's all part of the plan. This is all part of the plan. And don't you ever forget that. They go to Congress and they say, hey, I'm in charge here. I'm a bug eater. You're all bug eaters. We actually pay you. So we have a solution because the people out there want us to turn on the money printers. That's a trick, friends. That's the trick. The trick is the pre-programmed random world FUD event that appears. It, it asks, it basically, people beg and ask the government, print the money, print the money, fix it. The stocks are down. The pensioners, the retirees, the stocks are down. Print them. And so the US Fed, bug eaters, and the Congress, also bug eaters. All right, they're, they're puppets. They're more like puppets, right? Because Congress, they're just us, but they're controlled, right? They just say, oh, I'm going to listen to the people. Yes, yes, you want like mega, super, turbo money printer? Sweet. You got it, buddy. Because they all benefit from it. So that's it, friends. They print money, and then it fails. So it fails later on. We don't know. I don't, now, this is the thing, okay? The fail part is unknown, and only the bug eaters know what that event will be. So don't, don't worry about what event. You're never going to pick it. It could be a random thing, right? Everyone, what's everyone, everyone's thinking, oh, it'll be another zombie virus. No, it won't. It'll be something you never thought, friends. I don't know. UFO lands right on the White House, takes a big fat dump. Something can happen. Anything can happen. Just the event, look. You, you got to think, right? If if the market crashes again because QE didn't work, that can only mean that the event which happens has nothing to do with finance. Nothing. Because money printing can't solve it. It could be... Now, friends, I don't want to usher any of these dooms, but it could be solar flare attack from the sun, this random magnetic stuff, Right? It could be an earthquake in San Francisco or something. That's one of those. There's like friends, there's like a big earthquake that's due. I know it's crazy. I'm not making this up. There's a big, big earthquake that's been due. It's going to happen within now and the next 400 years in, in San Francisco. That ha happens like every periodic years. I think it's around that coast. Uh, it could be any of that. Could be random volcano erupts. Could be China invades Taiwan, takes all the computer chips, whatever it is. Something where throwing currency units doesn't fix it. Do you see? Out, it's outside of our control. All right? So that's when they'll actually need to bring in the bazookas. And what's the bazooka? This is where they literally make a policy mandate to save Americana, where, which is where they buy U.S. stocks using their printed monopoly money. They might even call it, friends, it's funny. The, the words that they call these government policies, they do the opposite of what they say. So when they say, we're going to save America, it's like butchering America. When they say, oh, we're going to protect your privacy. No, no, no. It's for them to peek, peek at you, peek through your pee hole when you're wee-weeing in the bathroom. So yes, yeah, so, oh, the Patriot Act. No, no, it's literally, it's anti-Patriot, all these things. So it, it's just the government wording. It's all full psyops, okay? So uh, Japan, shout out to my Japanese baby dolls over there in Pikachu Island, they already get this. The Bank of Japan, the BOJ, otherwise known as the Bank of Jelly Beans, they already buy the Japanese stock market. And they own like 13% of it. And yes, it's a event. I know they make it out to be some complicated thing. Whoa, your brain can't get it. It's literally, here's the money printer. They press the button. They take the money and they just go buy the stocks. That's it. It's, it's literally the exact same as if Tether just printed money and just started taking all the coins off Uniswap <laughs> and just runs away with all the coins. It, it's literally as simple as that. But they make it out to be some, whoa, we're going to save everybody. No, bro, it's not. 
All right, so this already has happened out here. I don't know when it will happen. Now, some people also say, friends, are you? how do you even know this will happen? Well, friends, there's a little thing called mathematics, and we know that there aren't enough baby dolls of our age to replace our parents. There aren't, the baby boomers. So it's the, the pyramid is inverted. You see, there's like, there's two kids, but there's, like, you know, there's, sorry, there's 1.5 kids and there's like two parents pretty much on average. So the taxes and the amount of spending is like going exponential as people get older for the Medicare, but they didn't have enough kids to make up the difference. They're, so they can make up the difference by printing currency, but they don't actually really make it up. They actually when they end up doing these, they, they still purchasing power. And how do they do it? By people who hold the bonds. That's why, friends, I'm allowed to tell you to go and buy government bonds because the government, friends, it's funny. You're not allowed to tell people, go buy this security. Go buy this shit coin. You're not allowed to do that, okay? But you are allowed to tell people to go buy government bonds. That's a T. It's a full-on it's a full on scam. You're allowed to do that, literally, because government bonds. Government's like, yes, of course. Yes, buy our government bonds. Buy it. It's funny. That's the laws. You know what I mean? I don't have to tell you finan not financial advice. You don't, you don't have to say that with bonds. You don't have to say it at all. You can literally tell people because government's like, yeah, yeah, sweet, sweet. A bonds are safe. No, it's not, man. They're just printing currency units. Okay, you get destroyed. Some people are going to learn the hard way, though. Right, so this will happen. This is inevitable. Who's going to bid up the stock market? Tell me. Who's going to bid it up eventually? It, the gap can only come from one place. You know where it's going to come from. Now, here's the thing, right? Whether they do this explicitly as in like, the, hey, we're going to print money by the stocks. Whether they do it like that or in the background, it's going to happen anyway. It just depends psychologically what is damaging to us. Will we, the people, accept them buying the stock market? That is, That depends on all their like media, the manipulation, the psyops and the stories. How can they convince the population that that's a good thing? So it can either be two things. Either they've got really good manipulation skills, which they do, as you've seen it, right, the recent world events, or the world event is so bad, they need to step in because the people are begging for it because the prices are so low. Because, friends, you know, baby boomers, right, if baby boomers, they're 65, 70 years old, they need their money to go. They need their money, friends. Can you imagine if stocks and bonds drop 50%? It's finished. They're literally finished. It, like, they've worked, like, uh, 40 years for their whole savings, and then with a 50% drop, now it's like they've wiped out 20 years of gains. 20 years. That's, that's literally, literally, that's the number. You're like, oh my gosh, 20 years gone. But they're going to be screaming. They're going to be rioting. They're going to be like, hey, get the politician who did this. Print money. Get the number to go up. See, that's the thing. Friends. I know Pete, Uncle Peter Schiff always says like, well, you know, we got to go back to the olden times. I don't know, bro. Uh, how are you going to convince... 78 million people. Well, golly gee, I guess you were just born at the wrong time. Sorry, you got to liquidate a minus 50% loss. We got to go back to no chance in hell. They'll kill him. They'll literally kill any politician who dares to say that. Imagine you've been working for 40 years. You take a 50% loss in your stocks and your bonds. And they're like, okay, you don't have, you know, you don't have uh, like seven years of living anymore. You only got three and a half. Good luck. Your family's thrown you out. Okay, you're all out. You're going to die. You're all dead. Not going to happen. All right. So you actually get to see it. So remember, all I've done is draw a scenario that would checkmate the entire financial markets. It's the unthinkable scenario where QE printing doesn't work the first time, so they need to step it up. Let's hope it's not this cycle coming up, but just be ready anyway. To get ready, you make sure you're long now so you don't rely on leverage to buy after QE later. Who is this dude? Who is that guy? Look at that handsome fellow. I wonder what's inside his skull. Probably a little peanut. That's the game, friends. I just thought about the unthinkable scenario. So, remember, you can win, man. We're winning. We're winning. You just, look, have you noticed every single time? Friends, I'm literally, we are living the George Soros interview in real time. So, George Soros says always, um, this is one of his famous quotes. He goes, markets aren't rational at all. He goes, for example, when I see a bubble, I look to go join it and feed into it. Right? That's not rational. And I'm thinking, wow, that's exactly what we're doing. We're seeing a bubble form, all right, and we're, we're feeding into it. We have to feed into it. Because what's your alternative? Your alternative is to just exit the whole system and wait for it to pop. 
Yeah, but they might print so much and it might pop down at a higher low. What are you going to do? They just print too much. What are you, what are you even going to sit in? By the way, being in crypto, you are outside of that financial system. Just that we know at the end of the day, man, stocks go down. Everybody in crypto towns losing their mind. So there you go. The double printer scenario. It is the unthinkable scenario. Just be ready. Just be ready. You don't capitulate. But man, it's, it's going to be scary. It will be scary. Like there will be an event that comes where our heart's going to be beating like, oh my gosh, money printer doesn't solve this issue. You know what I mean? And I'm going to have to sit there like a, and I'll be like, friends, guess what? It's pre-programmed FUD. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that, friends. There'll be a sea of red thumbnails, and your friend Sami here will be like, guess what? There's something they're not telling us on the news. It's all a load of shit. Pre-programmed, bunch of BS, stories don't add up. We're all going to be fine. I bet in five years we're going to look back and go, oh, wow, that was a time to get long after all. I'm waiting for it. Until then, we stay long in crypto, long and strong. Like, subscribe, belly button, all. I'm wearing a helicopter hat. Catch you soon.